Embarrassment and fear are the two like biggest things that people think about. Fear paralyzes you or embarrassment consumes you. You don't want people around like to see you do that, right? You just gotta get over the fact that no one gives a shit about you. They're from high school or whatever. It's like, all right, well I don't give a shit about that. I'm just gonna do my own thing. I don't care if they like me or not. Art is communication, right? Like you're always trying to tell a story or a song or a meaning or a purpose. Hockey was always my first love. I received my last concussion uh, in Georgia. And I had to stop playing one more opportunity to play in, in, in Europe and I took it really quickly. Not training for it, not preparing for it at all. And so I played there for a couple of months and then I couldn't do it because of my head so I had to come home and I sat there, you know, feeling like a failure um, to my friends and family and even myself. Like, I can't do this anymore. I tried looking for jobs, seeing what I would do. Nothing came, and then I started painting again. It took almost about a year. Art is like any other product. You've, you've got to sell it. And she's selling yourself and like your story. Might as well get the paint cans. <laughs> I marketed it really well, like sponsors to come in, social media. Made like this huge event for the, my friends and family. Talking with people, connecting with them. Yeah, I've been through this, I've been through that, and it really opens the door and opens you up as a raw person and then they can connect with you and then possibly buy art that may, that means something to them. And hockey also taught me to really step outside your comfort zone. You gotta be bigger than yourself a little bit. Not be so selfish or inward to actually go talk to people. I knew when there was like over 300 people, three, 400 people in this space, I was like, this is what I'm supposed to do. It felt right. A lot of people say I'm lucky, and it's like, nah, it's, luck is preparation meets opportunity. Now, after the first year of getting all this excitement hype with your friends and family, but after that dies down, you know, you need to expand to more clientele and, and really pound the pavement to finding new people. But there's times you're like, crap, I can't sell a thing right now. And you're like, am I really supposed to do this? And you question it. Like composition-wise, on a painting, is, is crucial, especially something like this. Like Everything is divided into one-thirds, and then it kind of keeps going. I'm really happy, yeah. angry, <laughs> don't know what I'm doing, but I'll be okay. And it's like a huge like yeah. circle of life. Sometimes I freak out because I'm doing this. Like I'm being open and, and pouring my heart out because I still have like that masculinity side of me of like, do my hockey teammates approve of this? Like at a young age in high school, I was teased for being gay and very feminine, sensitive. And that hockey mentality, you're like a gladiator. You take a punch to the face, you're a puck to the face, you get up and you keep playing. Like that is already ingrained in your mind. For us to be an art sensitive crying person, they're like, no. That's like very feminine. That's very weak, right? You're considered weak. That's what I find is, is huge. Like we love to close our mind. As soon as they close their mind, they stop learning and they judge quickly. We're in a transition period of like, we're trying to let those people go, but we still want to impress them or we go after goals, which are the money, success, power. But now I'm not chasing money, I'm chasing this this certain lifestyle and yet God had other plans but he probably would have never let me have it otherwise I'd probably destroy myself and he was like nah like this is what you're meant to do and like find your true self and find your happiness I'm more happier now than ever like it doesn't seem like it like I'm just in a small space in my room painting is in my studio but it's like now like this is where I can be you know, it's my like safe place I guess getting from 
point A to point B, heartbreaks and upsets and failures. And I was scared in that moment of transition. <laughs> You're like, all right, well, let's try it. <laughs> Some, somehow it, it'll work out. Like, you know, just to express themselves on a canvas and like, and then you see over time they get better and then they get better and then they get better and then they like master the craft and then they add more and then they add more and they try to push it and then they can completely go off in a different direction from what they started at. Hopefully this gives me enough uh, space to expand that horizon. So.